don't know what we're doing in part three. <laughs> no, part three is when we talk oh, about. Oh, we were just going to talk about. Yeah, we stuff, stuff. We, yeah, we did. we're just going to talk about Not horses parts. and the Disney Lego castle. Now we're going to talk about our pluses, our, our positives, our negatives. Not many of uh, food we liked in no. the restaurants we liked. Right. So, what was your favourite thing? What was your favourite meet and greet? My favourite meet, meet and greet was definitely Cairo. 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 <laughs> Cairo Lynn. Yeah, it was really good, the interactivity, the fact that I was shaking like a leaf because he was intimidating. Um, and I did tell him off a little bit about calling his mum, which was hilarious, even yeah. if I do say so myself. He, he was not happy. He marched off and had a sulk oh, in, the in the corner. Yeah, I, that was my met, met favourite meet and greet. What about you? Baymax. Baymax. 100%. Oh, Baymax was good for Baymax. He is in Epcot, opposite the character spot. Um, he's in there with Joy and Sadness from Inside Out. I knew he was there, so we were at Epcot for the first thing in the morning, so I said, let's go and meet the characters. We were the first people in Baymax's queue. Everyone was going to mm-hmm. Inside Out. It was so cool We were there. the first people and the third people. <laughs> yeah, because there was no photo pass photographer with them the first time. So... Yes, members just, can guarantee that there will be a photo. After photo. we'd had our photo taken with them, the photo pass photographer turned up, so we got back in the queue again. And that's another photo. Yeah, the woman like looked as if to say, did you push back in? It was like, there's literally there's nobody, nobody else in the queue. No one queuing for Baymax. He gives a good hug. He's nice and cool. He's very funny. His little eyes do this all the time. And he's dead cute. And if you see him come out first thing in the morning, it's like the, the funniest thing ever because he does that silly little sideways walk like he does in the film. That was, that, this, that was good fun, that wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And um, then we went and met Sadness mm-hmm. and Joy as well because we were in there. What about your favourite ride from the trip? Favourite ride? Mako. I think... Unanimous Mako. Mako was the ride of the trip. For for high flying ride, yeah. Mako, family ride, Cobra's Curse. Cobra's Curse was really good as well. I mean we enjoy well, all the, we good. enjoy all the I love it to small world. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favourite rides to go on. I feel like I'm truly at Disney. Oh, I've got another being. suggestion. You just reminded me. That, um rem- we got this the fast pass for Space Mountain on your birthday, yeah. And I got in the front seat, the front yeah. uh, of the front car, because there's two cars, three seats in each. I got a front seat, the front car. Didn't have a clue where I was going because I couldn't see, you know, the person in front of me reacting or the car in front of me reacting. It was hilarious. I was crying, laughing the whole way around. I actually left the footage in the video. Is you she couldn't, just yeah, it was just just <laughs> laughing. You couldn't see anything because it was in the dark. But I just could not stop laughing, so we just left it in the video because yeah. it was funny. I mean, there's plenty of rides at Disney that are good, but yeah. Mako was the Thrill ride standouts. Cobra's Curse was a fun family ride, mm. and it's a small world. Always has to get a mention because it's just the best. Now that it says at the end, "Hola, Mark and Jim." So, so your favourite park of the trip was obviously Magic Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, Magic Kingdom was very good this time. I'll, I'll Everything that. just, it was just so. Night we saw the new Castle Show, the French Affair. Really enjoyed that, even though it was very hot, standing out to watch it. That actually. When I said, I think at the, uh, I um, I was quite negative about that show after seeing it. I think it was the heat and standing in the heat to watch the show it was very really. Because when I watched it back on the video, I was like, it's, it's not bad. This actually, I love it. But in the heat, I, I was, the I was in a bit of a group. Yeah. You need to go back and see it because they got the. the, the I know. And I get to play the the back in there. Oh, we will go back and see it. It's not a problem. Some, um, hopefully it's yeah, so Magic future. Kingdom is my favourite park, mainly because I spent my birthday there, which is always a good thing to make you have a favourite park. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. But Animal Kingdom was close second over night time. The atmosphere of the night time is, it just, it just changed completely. It didn't feel like Animal Kingdom. No. In the evening. It was really cool atmosphere. Yeah. And it was really cool as well. It would get the the weather changed and made it nice, and, and we didn't get any rain that night, so it was yeah. good. So we just talked about positives. So what was your? Well, we talked about best meet and greet. So what about the worst thing about the parks? Um, difficult one. Mine is getting out of Magic Kingdom at the end of the day. If you stay till the end. Yeah. Because there's that many people trying to get out, and the monorail is always packed, and the ferry is always packed, and there's people trying to get to the resort buses. They could do with a bit more organisation yeah. or another way to get back to the car park nice big tunnel <laughs> under Seven Seas Lagoon just swim across be fun. No, that's, that's probably not a good idea, a good idea. Um, but yeah uh, yeah, that's probably quite agreeable I think there's only so many times you can go through the same shops seeing the same merchandise 
and you know well admittedly that's because we were lucky enough to get back within sort of 12 months so yeah a lot of the merch was the same borne out by the fact we didn't buy much of it um negatives negatives there's not many other negatives that i can think of no it was really good the heat was a problem i thought yeah the heat the, we knew the heat was going to be a problem mm-hmm. you can't really class it as a negative you just have to be aware of the heat yeah, and how definitely. to deal with it you Lots know, of fluids, definitely. Take yeah. breaks. You cannot do a full day in the park no. in that heat. You so, need to go so back. I think that was probably a negative for me. A genuine negative was that you had to split your day in two. So you would go out in the morning, go home at lunch, and go back out in the evening. I it, I didn't enjoy the whole the travelling between the two parks yeah. all the time. It, but it was a bit broken. On up. a positive to that negative, we'd get back home to the villa. And then it had lashed down for like four hours. Yeah, and true. And then we go back out when it was true, dry. True. And it was so a bit it, cool. So it worked perfectly, really, because mm-hmm. it we would have just been, because it was proper Florida full on. I'm coming down and I'm going to soak everybody rain for a good four hours. Yeah, with a a couple, I think there was definitely one night we were planning to go to SeaWorld to see more fireworks. Couldn't make it. The, the weather was just horrendous. We yeah. just gave up the on the whole idea. Fireworks wouldn't have gone off in that anyway. Exactly. So. Well, it was the nighttime Shamu show, wasn't it? Mm. And it was lightning and everything. The whales don't come out with lightning, so. There was very little negatives on this holiday. Very, very it was little. really yeah. one positive. One positive I really do have to point out, right? Because a lot of people have been quite negative about cast members. Of, um, yeah. And I say a lot of people. I have seen a few comments about people being quite negative about cast members. On this trip, compared to the last trip, the cast members were brilliant. The last trip, they were very good. This trip, absolutely brilliant. We saw at least two two uh, photo photographers. <sighs> Who were fantastic. What was his name from New York? Was it Ken or someone like Ken that? Ken from New York. I mean, we've seen him. He was on, was it Hacks? Yeah, he was on Hacks' vlog when uh, Hacks, Hacks videos meets Mickey or Minnie. Yeah, one of the characters. In the circus yeah. by Dumbo. He was there and, and he, was, he took his time. He took ages to He had a good set to you. He was doing a magic he was a bit shot in your face. with um, Sebastian. But yeah, he was good he was fun. There, good. He was real good fun. Yeah, got And he really was interested to know where people were from. Yeah. And the other person, what was the woman's name in Epcot? Karen, Catherine, Lynn, Lynn possibly. Anyway, there was a woman in Epcot. <laughs> we were waiting to go and meet um, Aladdin and Jasmine, and she was in the little garden bit behind, and she took ages taking yeah. photos. Yeah, and us. she was chatting to us. But the good us thing was, I, I was asked to do a survey right after that, so I mentioned her in the survey. And yeah, said, it said how good she was. Yeah, it's worth doing that actually. If you see a cast member who really goes the extra mile, tell Disney. So if you tell them on the Twitter, for example. It's a really good way because it gets back to them apparently as well, which is really good. Yeah. Um, so definitely well worth doing that yeah. to obviously tell these yeah, people, hey, you've done a good job. Yeah, cast members. We did, yeah. We? Uh, we even chatted to one on the monorail. when We, we got stuck on a monorail yeah, on the day we went to the Magic Grand Kingdom. Floridian, didn't she? Yeah, she didn't she? Yeah, she wasn't even on duty and she was chatting to us and telling us about, uh, you know, her Florida life and stuff. It was really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, cast members this time, absolutely, probably my big thumbs up. Yeah. You got that spot on. Mm-hmm. So, the other thing we wanted to talk about was food. 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 So, what was your favourite food? Oh, just, that is a okay. difficult question. Favourite food in the parks? In the parks, I really enjoyed Be Our Guest, and I really enjoyed, as far as, so, so obviously Be Our Guest table service, not everyone wants to do that, not everyone can do that, it's quite expensive. Uh, quick service, the place you picked for the first meal was really good, the Yakin Yeti we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, the other one was the Hollywood Studios one that did the, the yeah the Backlot, Backlot one Express, that did the um, Star Wars burger that I had with the black bun and the the big burger and the pulled pork and, and beef I brisket. had the Darth Vader oh, chicken that. and waffles. Yeah, and it was like I you know I ate that and I was still hungry after it, but it was huge. So um, I, on our first Disney trip, my appetite was just not there for the whole trip. No, I expected the same on this trip. <laughs> to go stop eating all. this time. No, I mean I literally was just putting away food. I think I put on half a stone in weight, and that's despite walking twenty odd thousand steps a day around Disney. Yeah, it was crazy, and it was good. <laughs> we went, went things places we ate outside the parks. Um, Chewies. Chewies, which was a recommendation from View for the Cheat Seats, and that was fantastic. And I Tim think Track even has been Tim Tracker just went there the week and said it was really it a good. Big as well. up too. Yeah, so it was like Tex Max food. They do really cool t shirts in there. The staff and they were brilliant. They bought us a round of drinks. Yeah. Um, just really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to uh, Outback oh, yeah. Steakhouse. We went there twice. Fantastic steak. We went to the Millers on the 192. Yeah, the Millers on the 192 was really good. I really enjoyed the Build Your Burger in there because I, I did this barbecue cheese 
fantasticness of joy. Fantasticness of joy. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, Manny's Chop House. We went to yeah, the original one on the twenty seven. Yeah. Um, we'd been recommended that a lot, like from early trips to Florida and and since as well. And that is a really good restaurant. Yeah. It, it's not a chain restaurant. I think there's like three of them. Yeah, it looks a bit rough and ready, but the food was really good. Oh, cool. yeah. It was so good. The steak was. I think the steak there was probably my favorite of all of them. I know you enjoyed the beer, I guess one. Mm-hmm. I think the the steak was superb. I didn't have steak there though, because I had ribs. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, highly recommended mm-hmm. that one. We did TGI's, which was TGI's. It's pretty yeah. good. It's nice food there and everything. Um, it wasn't overly expensive anywhere as well. It, no, you know, we be our guest was the going most expensive. Going food, yeah. Yeah. So what was your favourite restaurant out of the parks? Chewy's. Chewy's. Chewy's, without a doubt. Yeah, I think Chewy's was different, and I enjoyed it for that reason. Different for us, we don't normally eat it. Oh, not in the US, we don't normally eat it like Tex-Mex or anything like that. I think we're probably going to look at doing that a little bit more this time on the back yeah. of that. Because uh, we generally go to the US and go, I want steak, I want burgers, I want steak and burgers and ribs. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, really good Chewy's. Highly recommended, and we yeah. will be going back because there's one on International Drive. Right off, it off. Which brings me on to our <laughs> final subject of the day and the final of all of this mass of videos. Um, I've forgotten what it is. No, um, future plans. Future plans. Future plans. So, we were in the airport. Looking on at the that last really day. depressing carpet. Yeah, looking at that really horrible green carpet that's really depressing. And we noticed, obviously, there's free Wi-Fi in the airport. So we started doing some research. When so, he says we, he means me, because I had money left in my bank account. And I was thinking, I've got enough money in my bank account to book flights. Yeah. So we started doing the research. You started doing the research. Yeah. I started doing some other research into villas and townhouses and things. And um, then we were, we were, it was a Saturday evening. Yes. We'd had a few drinks. And I went, how does this trip sound? And it was two weeks. An international drive with a convertible Ford Mustang for like £2,050. Yeah. And he went, no, that's not right. I was like, no, it is. That's that's the price. That's coming up now. Can I book it? And he just sort of babbled at me, so I booked it. And then when they the, said yes. And then when the, when the reservations came through, I'd booked it for... Mr. Mark and Mrs. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Just hadn't put my name on it at all. So, so I was we, going twice, <laughs> once in a frock. <laughs> so we had to pay an amendment fee to change my name to my actual but, to Gemma. So well, it was yeah, only thirty five pounds. So yeah, it's, and looking now, that's still cheaper than what you're getting now, mm-hmm. even in the sales. It's two two weeks, Rosen and International. So we're actually going back to the hotel where we first stayed in yeah. in Florida. So we know what we're staying in, and how many days is there? So that you may ask. Well, if I just quickly look at my phone. Oh, I can look at my phone faster. Oh, can you? And is, is yours bigger phone. so people can actually see? Well, I can just do this. 115 days! We're going in May. It's a new one for us. Yeah. We've never been in May before. We hear it's a good time to go. Um, the advantage of this is it's also our wedding anniversary in May. So we're going to be in Florida for our wedding anniversary, yeah. which will be our ninth wedding anniversary. Yeah. There's a pattern forming here, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Um, well, we'll, we'll go into that perhaps after this trip. Yeah. Uh, what are the plans for the trip, Gemma? Um, we're not doing Disney. No. Be- for reasons that will become... Okay, we'll tell them that as well. <laughs> we're going to do Disney in 2018. <laughs> it's our 10th wedding anniversary in 2018 and we want to do an on-Disney property holiday. Full on Disney for the full two weeks. So we wanted to give Disney a miss this year so that when we get that walk up Main Street you get that excitement again because we've not seen it for such a long time. So we're giving Disney a miss. But we're going back to Universal. Yes, And we haven't not... done Universal for three years. 2012 we've not done Universal since so it will be five years so by the time I've we go back. I've been to Universal oh, yeah, you did, without um, Mark because I've done Halloween Horror Halloween Nights. Hornets. But yeah, it's the first, it'll be the first time we've taken the camera there to vlog. We've got yeah. lots of photos of it from previous mm-hmm. trips. And Other Jimmy than, Fallon will be open. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I've never seen Jimmy Fallon. I know who he is. It's a photo, isn't it? So. <laughs> yes, I know. But it's a trip around New York, so... Yeah. That should be interesting. Yeah. Um, I've not seen the new elements of Harry Potter yet. You've not seen them I've not seen them properly. Detail, I've, I've not walked through... I've seen a bit of it, I've, mm-hmm. but I've not seen all of it, because I didn't want to explore it. I was there for Halloween Horror Nights, so I wasn't there to look at Harry Potter stuff. Um, and plus, I didn't want to do it without Mark, so... Um, and we haven't been on Transformers. No. 
So other than that, we haven't actually we haven't actually got a lot planned, have we, for this trip? We're going for a nice. We're we're going to try and relax a bit more. Yeah, and enjoy Uh, Florida. So we're going to be getting out and doing some off the beaten path stuff. Hopefully, maybe some state parks, visits in other parts of Florida. Possibly go back to a couple of zoos that we like. Yeah, we've got the convertible, so we're going to go for a drive. We definitely won't take advantage of the the car. We're thinking about maybe going to Anna Maria Island. Anna Maria Maria. Island if not for a day then for maybe a couple of days we're looking at uh, motels to stay in for a couple of days we're not sure on that yet but we'll we'll Well, hopefully decide if you've got any suggestions about places to stay in Anna Maria Island just pop them in the comments or tweet us because the itinerary is not doesn't have to be so rigid because we're not doing Disney (laughs) yeah so we we are going to go for a relaxed one we're going to have a few evenings out on International Drive we're tired with taking the camera to International Drive a little bit more we don't normally vlog at nights it's usually our time to relax but we actually enjoy vlogging so well if you're interested in um, food how much prices are for food I know a lot of people um, I'm in a couple of Orlando groups on Facebook and people are constantly asking how much money did you take each day? How much does this cost and how much does that cost? So it's obviously a big factor for people planning the trip. Absolutely, so yeah. we thought if we take the camera out of the evening and we can take some pictures of menus and that and then you guys have got a better idea of how much stuff costs. And we're going to check out some of the new places that we haven't been yeah, to on the I certainly do well. that. That's Before good. we go, we will sit down and plan and look at Yeah, you saw, you saw our vlog from the other, yeah. the other night. We were already planning restaurants now for our next trip because we want to look and make sure there's stuff on the menu that we like that the prices aren't too extortionate um and it gives us an idea of, of what we need to budget for each day mm-hmm. as well so i like to do a lot of planning into to restaurants and stuff because i get if i see something on a menu that looks amazing i'm quite excited to go in and try that thing yeah and i just go and pick one and get there yeah. and it's usually a burger i'm, I'm, I'm quite <laughs> organized what i want to eat <laughs> It, I just I just can't re- realize as well. We've told people it's 115 days. That's 115 days now while Today? we're recording this. When is this getting the, put up? This will probably be getting put up in two weeks. Two weeks time, oh. so it'll be getting down to double digit dance day. <gasps> double digit dance. Yeah, yeah, we might have to add that onto the end if um, if we if, yeah. depend on how, how quickly I manage to get these vlogs online. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what else have we got to add? No, the one other reminder is um, mention it on the second video. Mention it on the first video. We are hoping to do a Q and A. Anything you want to ask about Florida, cameras, uh, planning, things like that. Yeah. If you want to ask us questions about us, as long as it's not too personal and talking about jobs and stuff, we're quite happy to answer that. Um, if you want to ask how the dog is, well, she's being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to ask how the cats are, well, they keep us up at night. They're noisy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, anything like that, just pop it in the comments, pop it on the Twitter, pop it on the Facebook, pop it up in the bedroom. Instagram. Um... <laughs> And yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully get enough questions to do a little Q&A. Yeah. Anything else to add? I don't think so. One if, thing, we've missed, if you think we've missed anything, ask them. Yeah, absolutely. We'll pick it up in the Q&A. One thing, I just want to thank everyone who's followed us along on our journey again, because like, the first time we did this, we didn't know it was going to take off. We expected to get maybe 20 views, 30 views, and the first trip's hundreds of views against each video, thousands in some cases. The second one is, again... I mean, every view, every video from the second trips had over a hundred views now. So clearly, people want to see. Even though there's a lot of people vlogging now, and I understand that when we first started doing this, um, that, you know, we were looking hard for vlogs, and now there are millions yeah, of them, and they're really good as well. Loads watch. of people, loads of really good editing stuff. Ours is pretty basic compared to a lot of people's, <laughs> but we're happy with it. Um, we do what we do because we like people to come along with us and see how we do Florida and so, it's memories for us yeah, as well we yeah, absolutely we're going to watch all of our own videos back before we go again we? we'll yeah. probably do the same again and eventually we'll be watching our videos for so long that the next trip won't feel like 10 minutes away you know no. <laughs> but yeah we really want to thank people for watching commenting liking po- chatting to us on Twitter meeting us in the parks people yeah. actually came and said hello to us in the meeting parks meeting us as well. in Chester Zoo meeting us in Chester Zoo yeah <laughs> that was really cool meeting us in Chester Zoo um, but yeah um, yeah absolutely. so always come up and say hi excuse more than, me more than thank happy. you yeah it's really cool and um, yeah really 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 enjoy making the vlogs it's um, not something that I would do for a living no <laughs> so you'll probably only ever maybe get a video a week from us but it is something that's fun. And yeah. it's, it's a fun community to be part of as well. And it everyone is, chatting yeah, everyone's and really on Twitter. Nice and, and chatting and it's really cool. You know, <laughs> the exchange pleasantries and ideas and information. You know, if someone's done something, they're happy. We love watching other people's vlogs. Oh, yeah. You know, 
If, if you go to our channel, you'll see sort of like yeah, some of our loads. favorite favorite vlogs listed there. So if you, if you know, if you, and if, we like, if you're always looking for we, new people. If we start watching you as a vlogger for Florida, and you suddenly go somewhere else for a holiday, yeah, we generally watch. We'll generally well. watch you because if we like what you're doing in Florida, we'll like what you're doing anywhere else yeah. as well. So yeah, we've seen some cracking vlogs of like M and J travels. You know, the from Canada and she's just travelled around Europe yeah. and it was fun to watch and we liked, her um, perspective of coming over here some, yeah. some good California Disney vlogs as oh, well oh yeah I love the di- we're dying to go to California Disney and it's just wetting our mm-hmm. appetite even more yeah. watching people I want to check out Disneyland Paris you've been before I've been to you? Disney Paris, but so we'll I hopefully do that at some point back. in the future as well got lots of uh, saving to do yeah <laughs> Disneyland Paris is expensive yeah if anyone's got a cheaper idea to do Disneyland Paris, please, you know, hotels that are close by that aren't going to cost too much money, please let us know. Because when I'm looking at it, I, I'm, I'm rubbish at finding hotels when I'm not sure where I'm going. Mm. And by the time we've priced it up, it's like, well, we're halfway the cost of Florida. No? Yeah, so let's just get to Florida. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, as far as the channel's concerned, coming up, um, beyond this point, we'll probably be a little bit quieter because we don't have the weekly Disney to post. But what we are thinking of doing is... We've got some things, we've got MCM Liverpool coming up. Yeah, so hopefully we'll do that. We've got a planned trip at the end of this month. We're going to go up to the lakes for a couple of days, so Mm -hmm. we may take the camera with us for that. Well, we will take the camera. camera. We'll see how we get along with the vlogging of it. Uh, We aren't really planning on doing much other than relaxing and having a beer or two. But there's a chocolate shop, so we might vlog the chocolate shop. We've got some cool new games we want to play as well, so we'll probably do some videos of those. So thank you for watching. Yeah. This this got out of hand. See, there's nothing else this to was supposed to, to watch us. Yeah, this was supposed to be twenty minute chat about our holidays. I oh think we're getting on. God. I think we're on feature length now. We've been at this for an hour. <laughs> Though it did take him about an hour to set the table. And yeah, the and, and, and the, the camera ran out of battery and uh, turned itself off. And then he couldn't find it. the other battery. And yeah, and it, the camera will run out of battery soon as well because yeah. I've not charged any up. So I'm gonna yeah. have to do that when this is done. So we're done. Any questions? Put them in the comments below. Contact us on Twitter, Instagram. Facebook. Carry a pigeon. Smoke signals. Flags. We'll start again. Okay. <coughs> be as chaotic as Yes. Three, two. Oh, yeah, this thing's not working. Three. Two, one. We do that so we can sync the sound in the video. <laughs> you see, it's clever because we've got separate audio so it sounds better. But anyway, we'll actually start now. Yeah. Three, two, one. Um. Next, you want to do the part three or? Oh, right, okay, get what you're doing. No, you didn't tell me that, did you? Okay, go on now then. Part three? Yeah. Welcome back to part three. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Jen. Oh, am I not talking? Okay, then we'll do it again. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. And we do vlogs of our trips to Florida. We do vlogs of our trips to Florida. <laughs> yeah, so come along yes. and join us. Not just our trips to Florida, but trips to Florida and any of the interesting places that we go to. Shall I start again? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. And we are vlogging Florida trips. That just sounds weird. You're supposed to continue. I don't know what to say. Hi, I am Mark. And I'm Jen. And. <laughs> just start that again because you were going, Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm like this at you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. <laughs> That's not staying in. <coughs> That'll be a beep! Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. And join us if you like. Oh, for sake, and I'll the Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Jen. Yeah, check out our channel where we are vlogging our trips to Florida. We're not vlogging anything. <laughs> I was getting off to a good start. Is it vlogging? 
Hi everyone, it's Mark here. We really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please remember to give us a like and a quick subscribe to be the first to know when our next video goes live. Don't worry, it's completely free. And I promise I'm not reading this off a screen. Also, check out some of our Florida playlists where you can lose yourself in the joy that is Orlando, Disney, and me getting lost and being told off by Jem. Have fun, and we don't have a catchphrase. See ya!